That's right, guys. It is that tiny. It is the DHD D1. It is the size of a quarter. It is the world's smallest quadcopter that they make. Alright, so guys, this is the DHD D1. As you just saw, it is the world's smallest quadcopter. It is the size of a U.S. quarter. Um, it fits inside the controller, and it is a super, super, super stable flyer. I was very, 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 very impressed by this quadcopter. Um, <laughs> I know you guys enjoyed that intro there. You thought it was going to be huge, and then it really wasn't. No, no, no. Yeah, I had to play with your head. Sorry. Um, it's kind of like the Cheerson CX-10 series. Um, same same thing. Even the controller is just about as uh, large as the uh, Cheerson CX-10. But this is considerably smaller. It is such a very small quadcopter. It's incredible how tiny it is. It's just a little guy. He get a little guy. So let's push that controller out of the way here so I can talk about this a little bit. A um, couple things I noticed. Uh, one, it has about a four or five minute flight time. Uh, actually, I almost got six minutes out of it, I want to say, uh, in beginner mode. In expert, I get about three and a half to four minutes of uh, fast flying out of it. Um, also, the yoke and yaw rate is not too extreme. Um, when you do parallettes, when you spin it and it's in the air, it spins about this fast. It's just not very, very fast at all. It's spinning. Uh, it has a very slow uh, parallette rate. So that was kind of a downer for me. The other thing that I noticed is that they put the charge port on the exterior of the quad. That little piece sticking out there. That is, uh, that's the charge port. And, um, yeah... Uh, it looks kind of goofy. It's not horrible, but it looks a little goofy. Let's turn this on. Uh, as you can see, the LEDs are pretty bright. Uh, very easy to see at night. I would say you could easily do night flying with this. Um, like I said, guys, it is very, 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 very stable. Uh, I'll see if I can do a quick video while I'm inside here. Um, doing the work thing, you know. But, uh, yeah, the controller feels about just, just identical to the, uh, uh, Cheerson controllers, no real difference, but this one does have headless mode, so it's got beginner rate, always starts off in beginner, and then you tap it again, that's rate level 2, and then if you tap it down again, that puts it in headless mode, uh, which I'm not a huge fan of, if you guys know me, I don't really fly it. This side does absolutely nothing, and this side controls your trims, forward, backward, left, right trims, and uh, then your normal flip button if you push it down. It does do really, really tight flips. However, guys, it does cheater flips. And if you know me, I'm not a huge fan of the cheater flips. It just feels like cheating to me, you know? So uh, let's do a quick flight here. Uh, I'm kind of in a cramped up office, but we'll knock this out anyways. And you guys tell me what you think. So uh, you can buy these on uh, eBay for around $22. Um, the charge time though is a little crazy. It takes about 25 minutes to charge it uh, on a wall charger. However, um, I have this 5,000 milliamp uh, Easy Power O bank um, that charges it in about 12 minutes. So I uh, would suggest getting one of these. They're about 10 bucks on eBay. Uh, very good buy. It takes up to two USB ports, so I can charge my phone and I can charge the quad. And I would think that you could really charge the quad a lot of times in the field with, you know, just having a power bank. Uh, I would say you could probably charge it over, I don't know, 50 to 100 times before this would need to be recharged, which is uh, done by your normal Android charging port there. So, all right. Let's uh, take a quick flight, and I'll tell you guys what I think. All right, so as you can see, I've got it out here on the table. I'm going to try to do a little flying here for you to show how stable this thing really is. Uh, it's super stable. That's uh, beginner mode there. It is very, very stable. Let's, uh, let's do a flip here for you guys and get it in a good spot for a flip. Probably about right there. We'll do a back flip. So that was a back flip there. But as you can see, it does these silly little cheater flips, which I, re I just really don't like the cheater flips. Never have. Um, it likes to give itself gas and then shoot way up in the air. And I just don't like that, because whenever you're too close to the ceiling to do a flip, then it really uh, causes a problem. Let's see how it does with a side flip here. Yep. So, that's uh, beginner rate levels. 
It is very stable, doesn't seem to have any problems. But it just has a very slow yoking yaw rate. And uh, I'm a little too trapped in here, guys. I'm kind of scared to try rate level two. That's two right there. So yes, two's a lot more zippy. Two is fairly fast for this small little room. So, all right, well, let's get back to talking about it here again. All right, so like I was saying there, guys, if I had a larger room, I would do some parallettes and uh, some funnels and show you how it really doesn't do funnels. It does very large bank turns instead of doing funnels, so it just doesn't have a very uh, quick turn rate. Uh, but the gyros, they don't get very confused, uh, not like the Cheerson. The Cheersons have a problem with the gyros. This one does not have a gyro problem. So, um, Like I said, guys, DHD D1, uh, the world's smallest quadcopter. Uh, you can buy these on eBay for twenty to two. Uh, let's see, twenty to twenty-five dollars, and uh, yeah, uh, exceptional little quadcopter. Uh, very fun to show off to your friends, especially because it's the freaking size of a quarter, you know. So, all right, guys, this is Dan the Drone Man. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment below and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, man. I love subscribers. It makes me want to keep making videos and buying these toys to show you guys. So, alright, toodaloo.